Every single day in this business, if you're working, you will get objections. Someone's gonna say I'm not interested when they showed interest. Someone's gonna say I don't have any money when they have money. Someone's gonna say I'm busy when they wanna to talk to their daughter if they would've called them, right? And when they're answering the phone, when they, have, when they have nothing on their plate. Someone's gonna say, right, stick it in the mail when the last insurance guy that called them got to the home, right? Someone else is gonna say, yeah, it wasn't me when it was them. And you can prove it by IP address and everything else, right? So, so I mean. People are going to say, "Ah, eh, I want to think about it," when they don't, when they're not actually going to think about it. People are going to tell you to call them back, and when you call them back, they're not going to answer. Right? There's all these little things. People are going to say, hey, "My daughter takes care of it," when that's false. There's a lot of things, and there's some real stuff that happens along the way. But there's a lot of false objections along the way that you can view view as rejection. But the way that you stay positive and impact a lot of lives and help a lot of people in this business is that when objections happen you stay positive. I don't care what they say, right? I'm, I'm going to give a shout out to, uh, to, to Eric in here, right? He, he, he just, cause, just cause, you know, we talk a lot and he's, he's active in this thing, right? So, so I hear stories. He told me a story the other day about how, how someone told him three times in one appointment that they did not want to buy life insurance. And his response every single time, right? I'm using this example because you can use it. It's perfect. Thank you for sharing that. And he just kept moving and then ask a question. And then literally by the end, with a person that he thought wasn't going to buy anything, that it said, I'm just shopping, I'm not buying anything today, or I don't want it, or I don't need it. 45 minutes later, they're choosing the middle option for 60 bucks a month, right? And it just happens that way. So remember that when you get objections, it doesn't always mean that, it doesn't always mean it's your fault. It doesn't always mean that you're a bad agent. It doesn't always mean you're a bad salesperson. It doesn't always mean the lead is crap. It doesn't always mean that they do not want to talk to you and that they're never going to talk to you and never going to buy. A lot of times it just means that sometimes it's bad timing, okay, with an objection. Sometimes it's actually bad timing. You call them, you call them tomorrow and they'll be the nicest guy in the world or gal to you in the world and they'll let you over, right? Could be bad timing. Could be that they only want to work with people that are great salespeople and they're looking for a reason to work with you. And you got to be a great salesperson for them to want to work for you or work to want to work with you, okay? So that's the other thing. So the best way to respond to objections is to be positive. When they're negative, kill them with kindness. When they're negative, be positive. When they're trying to take control of the conversation, you take control of the conversation, right? Agree, answer, and ask. In this business, it's really easy to take those objections and be negative. 